All right. I did have a few announcements before you start, if that's cool, Katie. Absolutely. Awesome. Um, quick couple of announcements. So they are still offering, um, if you haven't ordered Shakeology or supplement, um, in the last 90 days, you can use a code for $30 off, which is awesome through September. So nice little incentive. If you're starting a protocol in September, highly recommend you have that, um, make sure you check with your partner for that. And also for partners, there's the super starter bundle promotions also going to go through September, which is giving a nutrition option. And then they can pick a program of their choice for $20 and get three months of body for free. So nice little option. Um, also there is a body surge event coming up September 14th, which is open to all partners that will be held virtually starting at one o'clock. So mark your calendars. They're going to be sharing probably a lot of new things that are coming out for the new year and some announcements with Belvatal. Speaking of which, um, if you've been living under a rock, the liver detox did sell out um, of the kits. So just to kind of remind you guys, if you haven't heard me say it like 5 million times, if you're interested in doing Belvatol, you need to get liver detox. It's only $20. It's well worth it. I've gone through the entire PDF and there's so many things that I learned already that we're going to be really talking about and incorporating in our hormone health prep groups for September. Um, this gives you the first dibs to get the program in December and knowing that this sold out in four days, it's going to happen in December. So if you're interested in the program at all, it's 20 bucks, like skip a happy hour or skip a night out and commit to it. Um, you'll also get a free core ball in December. When you purchase the program, you'll get first dibs to purchase, and um, she's going to be sending out a few Matt Pilates workouts as well. So it's some great ways to start int incorporating the hormone health um, options right now. There is the new Body Experience podcast. If you guys didn't know, they have a bunch of different episodes uploaded there if you're looking for something new to listen to. And the one specifically that was shared this week is a test group member who went through Belvatal. So if you're interested more about the program, that's another great thing to listen to. Otherwise, we'll be sharing all of the stuff for September and the team calendar on um, the next team call. My plan is that next week we won't have a team call. I need to run this by Ali and Rachel, but it is Labor Day week and I know a lot of people are doing things or traveling. So plan to have a gut protocol one-on-one -on -one kind of client community call. The I believe it's the 8th of September. Holy moly. So we'll be diving into gut protocol. Don't freak out. Don't go crazy. If you've never done it before, I did put together a video on my YouTube of my best tips and tricks for gut protocol and how to start it. And we'll, of course, be talking about it in our bod groups. So make sure you have a plan in place for September. This is the time of year when it's really easy to just kind of sort of do whatever you want. That's why we're committing to gut protocol. That's why we're going all in. That's why we're having a focus each month so that we stay on track and we don't like the holidays kind of take over what's going on. And I know a lot of you are starting kids in school and that's very challenging, but here's the thing. If you can do hard things now, then it's going to be a breeze when everybody's in their routine. So challenging you all to show up strong for yourself this week. And as you start into the new year, and I'm really excited tonight. Katie's going to be sharing a little bit more of her story. Maybe you've never heard it before. Um, I think it's really important that we all learn more about each other and why we're a partner. And I know for some of you on this call, you've kind of sort of thought about being a partner before, and maybe you've been on a call in the past, but now's a better time, or you have questions, please put them in the chat. Um, this is a total open forum and for us to all get to know each other better. Uh, I shared a lot of recognition on my stories on Friday, and I want y'all to know that any single one of you can do whatever you dream up in this, in this business and building your communities. And I'm really excited for Katie to share why she's been a part of this for a very long time and where she's going to go with this. And then we'll of course, open it up to some questions and, and things that we typically go over. So Katie, I'm going to turn it over to you. All right. So we're going to go back to 
2016. So uh, my husband and I and one of his really good friends said, hey, we need a break. Let's go on vacation. We said, okay, we're going to randomly pick. We looked through some stuff. We ended up in Crete. So tiny island, middle of the Mediterranean. And I have always been behind the camera. There's, I mean, I can't tell you, I took hundreds of pictures that week. Um, as it shows here, this was one of two pictures of me. The other one is the same picture and a different angle. And that's because I was really unhappy with my body and the way I looked and the way I felt. I mean, you I mean, it's, you know, I look at this picture and I, I feel all of those feelings again, right? Like I feel, oh, you know, I'm stumpy. I've got the short chubby legs. I've got the arms, all the things. And, you know, this was a 16 kilometer down mountain hike and it took us eight hours to do it. Um, we did it. So super grateful for that because there were people in our group that certainly couldn't, but, um, we were certainly bringing up the rear end of the group. Uh, so, you know, 2016 was completely unhappy, um, wanted to make a change, but really didn't know what I wanted. Like, it was just, hey, I want to change. I need to figure this out. So now we jump to August 3rd, 2017. My dad passed away. I, um, this was on a Thursday, Monday morning, I got a call from my mom who was a nurse who had historically passed everything, you know, very passive about everything. Hey, you need to show up. I got the call and said, Hey, it's time you come, um, uh, was getting ready to walk into a meeting through presentations at my boss and our CEO and said, I gotta go, um, stopped to get gas, called my mom and said, do I need to bring clothes? Um, and she's like, yeah, I pack for a little bit. Uh, got there and spent a few days watching my dad's health deteriorate to the point that my mom and I made the decision to put him on palliative care. And within 24 hours on August 3rd, he passed away. Crazy, right? Um, I guess it's here. He was 66 years old. Um, morbidly obese, diabetes, COPD, asthma, uh, heart issues. He had had his aortic valve replaced. Um, I mean, I can just go on and on with the years of health issues and the struggles. And I can remember growing up going, if I ever have kids, I don't, I don't want the experience I had for them, the experience I had, because my mom's health is not much better. But the oh shit moment for me was, um, my dad was the second uh, he was one of five siblings. One died very young, very unexpectedly. Um, his, one of his sisters passed away in her 60s. Then there was my dad. And about, um, I guess, 15 months later, his brother passed away in his 60s. And after my dad passed away, it was really, for me, it was the oh shit. Like, if I, if I don't change and I don't make a change and I don't do something, this is my life. This is the story that's being written for me, and I'm halfway through my journey and that cycle and my life based upon his, and I don't want that to be my story. I don't want that to be what, you know, hey, I've worked really hard. I've done a lot of things, and I, I'm halfway. I'm at the halfway point. You know, I just was like, hey, I'm not ready for that. So that was really the piece that was like, oh, shit action has to happen. Sorry if there's kids in the room, you might, there will be four letter words, as you can already tell. Um, it was really the oh shit moment for me, right? Like I wore, I mean, August, it's Virginia, it's hot, it's humid. I wore a really loose fitting. We just did a visitation for my dad. Um, he was a very social guy uh, in a lot of ways and just felt that was the right thing to do to honor him. Wore a very loose fitting top, um, obviously, as you saw from the picture before, one of our neighbors who I'd known for forever looked at me and asked me if I was pregnant. And I was like, no, 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 no. Um, and it wasn't even that anything that was showing. It was just it was a very loose top because it was hot um, from that standpoint. And it was, gosh, I want to say it was weeks after this that Danielle and I connected on so on Instagram, literally with between pokies and bright colors. Um, and 
I would say I jumped in. I knew I needed to make a change, but I had to grieve. And the first six months, I I might have had a toe in, if that. Um, you know, it was a like, yeah, I'll do that. Yeah, I need to do that. Yeah, I need to do that. Yeah. Yes, I'll do it with you. Yes. Okay, never mind. I'm going to, not only am I going to take my toe out, I'm going to run 10 feet in the other direction. Um, and then about six months after going, obviously, through the grief process with my dad and everything, it was like, all right, I'm in. And the first thing, ironically, I focused on was food. Um, and, you know, coming into gut protocol and everything like that, it's really that Danielle had no idea I was going to go down this path with the story, but that was really it. It was like, Hey, let me start by cleaning up my diet. Um, that, that I could easily commit to more than the workouts because I was, I was scared of the workouts because I knew that in my head, I wasn't going to be able to do them to the level I wanted to. And so I said, Hey, I can, I can start here and make this choice. And Almost went gut protocol when gut protocol wasn't a thing. Um, just really stripped out the processed foods, just really focused down on eating clean and healthy. And just all the junk went out um, from that standpoint. And I think in like two months, I dropped 20 pounds. Like, I mean, it was almost instant from that standpoint. And it was literally just the, hey, I've, I've got to take this step and clean it up. Um, it was after that then that I said, okay, hey, I'm going to, I'll start doing the workouts now because I felt like I could, right? Like I didn't have, you know, go pick up the 20 weight, 20 pound weight you have with your workouts and strap that to your belly and walk around with that for the next day and let me know how that feels because it sucked um, from that standpoint. So really, you know, after that six months, just dove in, like all in. Uh, that was my first really jump in from a partner standpoint as well, because I said, hey, I want, I want more than this, right? Like I... I see this. I know the impact is had on my life. Um, and I will, I want to be able to give that impact to others because I, I've been through so much from a life standpoint that I'm not even touching on in this, from this standpoint that, um, you know, I can sit and just let's talk life. Let's talk about what got you here and things like that. Um, from that standpoint. So fast forward to night, July 19th. There's actual pictures of me. We went to the same group, um, went to France for a week and there's actual pictures of me. And I mean, just look at the difference in my face and the the emotion I'm showing here and the happiness I'm showing here, right? Like coming out of being so miserable and so unhappy in my in myself and where I was to ending up in a place that you know, I can see it. I can remember a girl at work looked at me one day and she's like, you're glowing. And it it wasn't anything other than I was happy. I was eating right. I was working out. I was confident and comfortable in my body. And that, that was just something I can't say that I'd ever really felt until that point in my life. Um, and my you, in 2019, I would have been 35 um, and had never really felt that. And that that's a very powerful thing. Um, having that that confidence and the comfort of really wanting to go look and try on clothes and having clothes you feel good and you feel confident in. Like there's just, it's a power you don't know about until you do it. And once you do it, you don't want to let it go. Um, Obviously, shortly after this, the world shut down and COVID snacks became a thing and I'm back on my journey, right? Like I never left my journey. I've been here from the workouts. I've continued to work out, but uh, COVID snacks really wrecked my diet. I'll admit it. Um, and it's been four years of really being like, hey, I need to buckle back down and do that from that same point. And, you know, you think back, right? 2017, we're 2024 right now. I've been, I've been here seven years. Um, prior to this, I'd never worked out at home. I, well, I had the, the Jillian Michaels DVDs. I had all the random DVDs and I had room for it and I just never did it. Right. Seven years I've been here. I've committed to this journey and being here and being a part of this community. And, you know, I think when you step into that partner piece, right, like you, 
you create this new level of accountability for yourself, right? Because you don't want to let down the people that are looking to you to help. But at the same time, I mean, you can see here all the different events. And some of these were body events and some of these weren't um, body events. And there was one picture, I, just obviously me and my symmetrical brain was like, I can't add something that would not be symmetrical. Um, but there was another event here that was non, not a body event. But every single one of these are where I've met members of this community that have shown up and keep in touch with. And then, you know, there's other people in this community that I've been able to build a relationship with just literally working through Zoom who I've never met. And I mean, their kids get on Zoom and they're like, oh, there's Miss Katie. And we talk and, you know, they, where's your dogs? And they want to see my puppies and things like that. And, you know, this quote really resonated with me as I was thinking through this is community is so much more than belonging to something. It's about doing something together that makes belonging matter. You know, every single person here brings a piece of themselves to this community. And every single one of us has had a journey that brought us here that somebody can relate to that can't relate to my story or Danielle's story or something else. And I think that's that's one of the things we really need to remember as this is that all of us, yeah, none of us had the same journey to get here. And none of us are going through the same journey right now. And it's there's pieces of my journey that somebody may relate to but they may not be able to relate to other parts. And, you know, it's those pieces that we really have to build our connections on and really look to help people and help our friends and our family and the girl on the internet that didn't you didn't know that needs what you're offering. You know, we've got to be there to be able to help them and bring them into this community and show them that there's this thing out here they never knew they needed. But then once they're here, they know they need it and they don't want to go. And they want to stay and be here. You know, we just celebrated the 10 year and I've been here for seven of those, you know. So for the next, you know, the next big one at 15, you know, I want I want for us as a community to to still be here. I want to see all of your faces there and I want you all to show up. And, you know, even if it's not going to Philly, if that's where Danielle is or wherever she may be at that point in her life. You know, we can all have our own little celebrations to get there and celebrate it together. And there's nothing that's stopping us from that standpoint. So, you know, I think from a partner standpoint, right, like I have a ridiculous, insanely demanding job um, from that standpoint. In the community, I've been, gosh, I've been here seven years. So I think I've been promoted three or four times. Um, and that's a direct contribution from this community and what this community has brought for me from being a coach and saying, hey, I always wanted to read books that were good for my brain, but I couldn't force myself to do it. With the community, I can sit down and I can read 10 minutes and I can slowly get through that book. And it's, you know, every book you read, you can apply, whether it's to your personal journey or your professional journey, and it makes you a better person. It makes you a better person as a mom, as a friend, as a partner, as a boss, a mentor, an employee. Like there's little pieces of everything that we plug into from a personal development standpoint and how it impacts our lives. So, you know, from that standpoint, that's like the one step I think taking it, you know, starting, hey, if I'm, you're really anxious from a partner standpoint, start there. It's an easy step that even if you go, hey, you know, I, that's that's all I can do right now. You're going to see it in your life. You're going to see the impacts of that show up in your life. The next part is, and this is, you know, I'm calling myself out here when I say this, is get past the fear, right? Like, like I said, there's somebody out there that needs our story and needs to hear our stories and needs to hear us say, hey, I... I have this amazing thing and I want to give it to you and I want to share it with you. And I really want you to come and do all the crazy things with me, whether it's stand on our heads, jump up and down, like whatever it is. Like, I'm not asking you for a hundred percent blind faith. I'm asking you to say, Hey, I'm here with you and I'm going to do it with you. Um, you know, it's those things are, 
or priceless in the world, right? Like having somebody to say, hey, I'm having a bad day with this, or hey, I need to talk through this choice before I make it, because you know you're going to go reach for the really shitty thing in your pantry, um, because we can't force the people around us to accompany to be active participants in our lifestyle and make the same choice as we do. And so, you know, being able to build the community that says, hey, these are the people you can lean into and say, hey, I need I need to talk through this before I do something that you know is against your goals. Um, that's that's what we're here for, you know. The the objections, like I was saying, I have a crazy demanding job. Um I've worked uh, 130 hours in two weeks this year. Uh, a couple of times I pulled an all-nighter at almost 40 years old. Um, I've worked till 2 a.m. Uh, already this year. I typically put in probably 50 to 60 hours a week. Right? Like, I can tell you guys that I am my biggest obstacle when it comes to being a better partner in this community because I... I give to the point of everything into my job that I can't, I, I say, Hey, I want to do these things. But then at the end of the day, I, I let my job suck my energy and that doesn't make me achieve my goals. And I need to be better at that. This is, you know, I'm not going to sit here and tell you it's all sunshine and rainbows and it's all perfect. And you're going to sign up here. You know, you're going to hit success club every month from that standpoint, you know, you're going to hit the goals you put the work in for. And that if those are, you know, the things that interest you is then that's what you've got to be doing is, hey, and it's, there's posts and there's stories and there's things like that. And the fear of the unknown is huge for everybody. Trust me. I am like a, hey, I, I need to see it. I need to da, 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 da. And that it gets in my way. Openly admit it. Um, but you know, you've got, we've got to step back and say, hey, there's a group here. And we all start as a beginner, whether it's in our journeys, um, at, in our own personal journeys, or whether it's in our journeys to become a partner and show other women that there's this thing that they want, um, that they need to be a part of from that standpoint. And so, you know, never, every excuse that you have in your head on why you shouldn't be here, that... And I admit, I mean, the money thing, that's a real thing for some people. And I get it, right? Like, but beyond that, I think it's all in your head. Like you're, everything is, is we're all sitting there and we're all standing in our own way. Um, and whenever you want, if you want something bad enough, you're going to figure it out. You know, how many of us, when we start our first, when you start a new job, did you know all of it? Did you know how to do it? Did you know every piece of it? Um, you know, you were a newbie and you had to figure it out. Even if you're doing the same job in a new company, you're still a newbie. You're not the, you're not comfortable. You're anxious. You're nervous. You have all of those things. So, you know, just this isn't any different, right? But the communication and everything else you learn here, it like, I can't tell you guys how much it crosses personal and professional life like your actual real job, corporate jobs, right? Like it crosses that so much. I can't tell you how many conversations I've had over time that I go, hey, this, I've had this experience professionally, therefore I can relate. Or, hey, these careers really don't lend themselves to, you know, difficult conversations. And so we need to help people with those types of things because, you know, that's just the type of careers there are. And all of those things can help make us better people, better friends, better partners, better spouses from that standpoint. And so, you know, everything you learn there from that standpoint. So the question I have, and I mean, feel free anybody to kind of take yourself off mute and let's talk about it. But like, what's standing in your way? Is it you? And if it is, and if it's some belief you have in your head, you know, let's let's talk about it. Let's ask the questions here because that's what this is for. Help get you from out of your own way to have the path to what you want. And I'm not going to tell you it's, like I said, it's not all sunshines and rainbows. It's going to take work. And I know sometimes that's hard when you have, you're starting back to school, your kids are starting back to school, right? Like we can all come up with all the reasons why, but 
you know, you showed up on the call tonight for a reason because you have some curiosity. And so, you know, I'd really like to know what what brought you here and what's preventing you from saying yes from that standpoint. So if anybody has anything to add, questions, if you don't want to speak them, feel free to drop it in the chat. Um, we're here to help. We're here to answer your questions and really say, you know, hey, here's here's what you can do. And here we're here to help support you. I'm going to do a universe nudge. Noel, Lauren, and Taylor, I know you're all on this call and not partners currently. What do you want to know more of or what's a limiting belief you have in your head? You can put it in the chat or unmute currently from being a partner. And y'all know someone's got to answer or we're going to sit and wait. <laughs> <laughs> Because that's how we run in this team. We all work together. Someone's either feverishly typing or you can literally just unmute. This is an open forum. No judgment. No, well, for me, it's okay. This is a good one for you, Katie. It's out of my comfort zone to chat with others. Yeah. So I think, Noel, for you, the big thing there is find what you connect with people on, right? Like, you're a huge Disney fan, right? Like how many people do you know that are like, oh my God, I love Disney. And you can get into talking about the races you've done at Disney and how your journey has helped lead you there, right? Like the first step isn't, it's not to be sales oriented. You want to build the connections with people or, that you're talking to, right? Like I don't want, you know, the salesman that shows up at your door and knocks, how likely are you to buy something from him? Probably not because you're really fucking annoyed that he interrupted your dinner, right? Or the spam call that comes when you're literally sitting down. Remember everybody growing up as kids, we're all around that age where um, it, like, we're all sitting down at dinner. You had the house line and the phone would always ring. Literally, like right when you sat down and it was always somebody trying to sell your parents something, right? Like nobody, I mean, how many calls do a telemarketers make a day to try to sell one thing, right? And it's because they're literally trying to sell it and push the product. The piece here is build the connections with your community in ways that you can talk about. I mean, now y'all, from a Disney standpoint, I can't tell you how many people love and are obsessed with Disney that you could connect with. And then it just naturally evolves from a conversation from that standpoint that you never have to truly sell. And that's it. I mean, you just want to find ways to make connections with people. And I would also say it's a muscle that you flex and you learn in our partner mentorship. Like, I mean, Kristen just hopped off and Alice is on here. Like they don't know how to approach things, but they're plugged into all of us that have 10 years of experience that helped them through conversations. So all of that is taught as a new partner. And I know that you've pursued it in the past, Noel, but I think that everyone's at different times in their journeys and you love the products. You love the community. You love Disney. What's the difference in sharing it when it's something you love? All right. One more, one more tackle Taylor I love this one uh, I love hearing everyone's stories during these I feel a lot what you said earlier about I feel like my day job already sucks so much of the energy out of me so this is a great one for Katie to just touch on real quick and then we'll pop off of her vision moving forward and and how you kind of fit partnering in with that yeah so like for me right like finding other women like myself that have that feeling, right? Like that we have demanding jobs or that, hey, maybe you're not there yet, but you're really like, hey, I want to grow my professional career at the same time. And you know that to do that, it does take that time, right? Like looking and working with women that are trying to, hey, let's find the balance in our lives. And it's, I, just, I always say balance. And then I stop myself even when I'm talking internally is it because it's not balance, right? Like the scales are never equal. It's about finding harmony in your life. And finding the pieces there. And I always have to, like I said, even internally, when I say it, I have to step back um, and say, no, it's never going to be balanced. I have to find the harmony. And 
your goals and my goals and Danielle's goals may not always be the same, right? No one says you have to go out here and work this business in such a way that, hey, you know what, this is going to be my full-time job one day. No, but hey, what if you work it so you can cover your car payment? Or, hey, I want to fund my trip, like my husband and I want to go on this trip or my family and I want to go on this trip or your spouse or whoever. Hey, I just want to fund that. I just want, you know, I'm living, re- it's really tight right now for me. You know, the economy sucks and prices are high and da 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 I mean, we can come up with all the things, right? But like, what's that thing that's in the back of your mind of, hey, I want to do this, but I can't fit it in the numbers today from that standpoint. And, you know, take the, make that your goal, right? Like, and it, and it doesn't have to be, hey, I want to hit success club. Hey, I want to be Emerald. Hey, I want to be Diamond. Hey, I want that, 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 right? Like, are these things that we as your mom partners want for you? Yes, it is. But we can't force our visions for your business on you. You have to tell us what it is you want. And we can help you get there, right? That That is what we're here to do is help support you in your business and not force, force our vision for your business on you. So, you know, even if it's supplement covering your supplements, like literally set the little goals and say, hey, this, this is what will help me feel more financially secure and make, and let's work from that. That's, that's all it has to be, right? Because that's when it becomes personal and you'll start to do the work. Awesome. Uh, last thing I'll share, all of you schedule a call with me or Taylor with Rachel and, and chat more about these thoughts. Cause I think they're really important and we're, we just don't have time to cover more of them. But, um, also I wanted to leave you guys with, this is a really phenomenal time to be a partner with, Belvatal coming up. When I tell you that this is going to be a massive launch, like 80 day obsession, like a protocol, like 21 day fix. If you've been around the block for the last 10 years, anything autumn does is massive. And anything that is hormone health related with the example of the liver detox being gone in four days is going to be massive because women need this. I've gotten more forms filled out in the last month than I have in the last year. Should I say that again? I've gotten more forms filled out in the last month than I have in the last year. So if you're thinking about doing this, but you're scared of the time, let's talk about it. Let's figure out a plan that works for you. All of us have busy careers and lives and multiple things that we juggle, but when you're excited about something, that's a really special time to share it with someone. And that energy is contagious. And I want nothing more than for y'all to reach people I can't reach. Because ultimately, that's why I decided to grow a team in the first place. Because I can only personally reach so many people, but I know more people need this in their lives. So and your energy really- comes, your energy comes through in everything, right? Like when you're typing out the mess, like you may not think it, but your word, like the word choice you have when you're sharing something you're passionate about and excited about, it will come through. And that's when great opportunity, um, partner coaching here, get on stories when you're super excited about something because that excitement and that energy, it shows. And that's when people are like, Oh, I need to know more. Yes. So thank you for sharing your story, Katie. We'd love for you guys to share in your message pod after this one thing you took away from this call and let's schedule a call with your upline partner sometime this week to chat more about your thoughts and questions and things like that. It was really great to hear from you, Katie, tonight and um, look out for the September calendar for the next call. I hope you have a great last week of August. Y'all better be logging in the bug group, getting your booties on Zoom and go sleep well so that you can start your week right. Thanks, Katie. Thanks guys for being on.